The mill is uh, 209 years old, and uh, in 1987 it was possibly going to be lost because nobody was willing to take it on. And my wife and I found it by mistake and fell in love with the building and decided that we would like to give it a try to get it working and make a viable business out of it. And it's just transpired from there. It, it's just gone mental, shall we say. It, it's one of these things that you never know until you try it. In the last ooh, six years, we're now up to selling roughly eight tonne of flour a week. And today is a huge celebration for the mill, isn't it? It's a big milestone. F nearly five years ago, the fire brigade came in here and threatened to shut us down. And uh, when we submitted plans, etc., uh, for a fire escape to put on the back of the building, English Heritage kicked it out and refused to allow us planning consent to do anything to the building because she's now today a grade two star protected building. But in 1982, when the estate started to clear it out, it had planning consent for a block of flats. It was going to be lost forever. So this milestone, we never thought we'd get here. Um, Norman Lamb, our local MP who's going to open it, uh, has helped us fight the fire brigade in English Heritage to gain permission to fireproof the main staircase so we can stay open to the public and continue running. And it's taken nearly five years to get that approval and to do the work at the cost of £12,500 with no grants whatsoever, nothing. And today you're up the of two more rooms in the That's right, the top two floors of the mill. The fire brigade, uh, after Norman Lamb stepped in to help us, allowed us to use the ground floor and this stone floor, nothing else. No one else is allowed up the two, top two floors of the mill. We've converted now the floor above to our archives floor to show all the photographs of the restoration that we've done since we came here in 87. And the top floor, of course, houses some machinery already, uh, the chain hoists and the grain cleaning machines. But we've also set a, a big area aside for a schoolroom and installed a big widescreen telly and whatever. And we have loads of school parties now, which is lovely. And in the future? How, how oh, well, we have a new set of stones coming. We're waiting for them. They're being made in Holland at the minute. On the 1st of December, I won a Food Heroes Award of the country on UK TV Food. Uh, on Gary Rhodes' program, and we were awarded £40,000. Well, new set of grindstones, and of course the fireproofing, and other bits and pieces that we wanted to do, the setup of the schoolroom, and lots of bits and pieces. So the money is now spent on everything to do with the business. And it's just going to grow, I think. Um, we can't keep up with demand at the minute, and we're having to say no, we can't supply it at the moment, but that will alter.